Shalom to nation of Israel. This is Barazal coming in the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Racha Kodash, double honors to the apostles of the Great Millstone, and to the hopeful like pushing his word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. Uh, this lesson will be titled, You Have to Be the New Man in the Truth. Right? Or put away the old man. Matthew 9 and 16. No man putteth a piece of new cloth unto an old garment. Right? So like, if you got a piece of clothes, right? Let's say you tore a hole in your clothes. Right? It's nice pants that you have. It's brand new, but you have, you tore a hole. A, tore, a hole came out of it. You're not going to take a, old, a piece of old, of an old pants and then sew it into that old that new pants. It doesn't make any sense. One, it doesn't look good because you can see the difference, right? It just doesn't fit, right? Uh, as it says right here, that's what it's basically what it's talking about. For that which is put in to fill it up, take it from the garment, and the, and the rent is made worse. So basically, you just made it worse, right? So now we're going to jump to Mark. And let's see how was Shai talking. Mark two and twenty two, and no man put and no man putteth new wine into old bottles, else the new wine doth burst the bottles, and the wine is spilled and the bottles will be mar marred, but new wine must be put into new bottles, right? So that's just order, right? That's just order. Like, it's, like the saying, so, uh, saying goes, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Right? You can't. Because it's it's so used to those old tricks. It's been accustomed and ingrained and seared in its brain. So you can't teach it new tricks now. Right? You got to teach it when it's from its young. That's the scripture always says about in Proverbs where you uh, teach a, a chill child in, in the ways and it will never depart from them. You got to teach it from when it's young, when it's born. That's why when you come into the truth, you got to put out that old man, put on the new man. Because that new man is, a, is basically starts as a child, an infant, which is why the scriptures are always referred to as the milk, because that's the milk that you have to drink. You have to drink the milk, and then eventually becomes some food, and you get some teeth, and then you get the meat, right? And you got, you know, so that's why, how it goes, Right? So you have to put out that old man. Everything you were doing in the world, you have to put it away. It's just like in in um the Matrix, when Neo came fully came in, he had to be reborn. Right, he had to be reborn, and the word Neo I think means new. I believe he had to be reborn. He was in a new body. He had to relearn everything, how to walk. Like, right, and for months. They were, they, were, they were putting electrical pulses through his body just so he can, like, build muscle. So he's literally starting from ground zero. That's how it is when you come into the truth, right? You'd be like a, it's like you're a babe, a brand new baby. Luke 5 and 34, and he saith unto them, can ye make the children of the bridegroom, bride chamber, no, that's not the one I want, it's luck. It's Luke 5 and 39. No man also having drunk old wine straightway desireth new, for he said the old is better. Right? Exactly. So if you're drinking that old wine, you're not going to desire the new wine. So if you're still doing things that you're doing in the world, which is what the old man was doing, why would you want the new wine? Right? And that's an easy way to fall out. You got to put that shit away. You have to put that shit behind you. Right? You have to put it behind you. It's of the old man. And the old man's decrepit and old and senile and not knowing, ignorant, prideful. That's what that old man's of. You got to put that shit behind you. So then we're going to go to 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if any man be in the house, Shai Mashiach, he is a new creature. Right? Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So if you are a servant of Yahweh Shino Shai, you're brand new. Right? All those old things you're doing have passed away. They're behind you. They, they, they're gone. 
behold, all things are become new, right? And if you try chasing out those old things, you're going to fall out because those are in the past and you're moving forward into the future, right? And think of it as a bridge where um, the, 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 I guess the pieces of the bridge are only appearing before you, right? If you try to turn back, you're going to fall off the bridge, just like how Lot's wife turned back and she turned into, turned into a salt. Same thing. You're not supposed to turn back. You're supposed to keep moving forward. Right? Because behind you is the past. In front of you is the future. Right? So we go to Ephesians 4 and 24. <clears throat> Ephesians 4 and 24. And that ye put on the new man, which after Yahweh is created in righteousness and true holiness. Right? Like I said, the new man. The new man's important. That's self-explanatory. I don't have to explain that. First Corinthians 13 and 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. So when you become a new man in the truth... Right? You put away those childish things of the world. But the old man used to play with. Right? Because those things are childish anyways. They're childish because now you're a man. Because really a man in the world is just a child. He's not really a man. He's just a child. He's emotional. He's prideful. He's, he's uh, stubborn. He's ignorant. Just like a child. That's the same, same uh, personality traits of a child. Right? So you got to put those things away. So I just made want to make a quick one, but an important one nonetheless. Hopefully this lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect that pushes word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. Inshallah, until next time.